Hi, this is Shelley Kraft coming to you live on SNN Live. We're at the Sprott Natural Resource Symposium, Vancouver 2014. I have with me Dev Randhawa of Fission Uranium Corp. It's a publicly traded company, and the symbol is FCU on the TSX Venture and FCUUF on OTC Markets. Welcome to SNN Live. Well, thanks for having me, Shelley. You know, it's always good to see you. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. You look terrific. Thanks. Let's get right into it for the audience. Uh, please tell us about Fission. Well, we own 100% of uh, a project called PLS up in Saskatchewan, and it's uh, we're totally focused towards uranium. Some call it the best discovery in 40 years, where we've got a high-grade uranium but open pitable uh, deposit. And that makes it very different from what we have. In Africa, they have projects that are open pitable, but they're very low grade. Whereas a lot of projects in the Athabasca are very high grade, but they're down deep. So it's a very unique opportunity uh, for us to have a discovery like this. We 100 percent of it. Um, we tick all the boxes. You know, it's high grade, open pitable. In, in, in our view, the best place in the world to find uranium, which is Saskatchewan, where they've had 40 years of successful mining. And uh, we've got the right political. First Nations are on side. So it's not my backyard. So it ticks the boxes in our view, for a company that will be bought someday by somebody bigger. You know, high grade is the buzzword. Yeah. And open pit makes it easy. Absolutely. So, um, you know, when you look at your company, right. how do you see it moving forward? And what's the next phase? And what's 2015, 16? Right. Because, you know, that's a very loaded question because I'm almost asking you to give me an industry assessment at right. the same time. Well, I, I think that the thing that we need most is the psychology of the industry to change. Ever since Fukushima, people have been worried what Japan's going to do. And I believe they've now given approval for some reactors to turn on. When the first reactor actually turns on, it will change the sentiment in it. So I think that's the key from our perspective. We can do all the right things. We ought to continue to do the right things. We've got lots of cash to see us through the next while. So for me, this summer, this fall, we like to see Japan turn on a reactor and we'll continue to grow it. Um, so it's a combination of what we do, but right now the elephant in the room is what Japan's gonna do because they've got 90 million pounds just sitting there, knowing what to do with, they're frozen. So, and as they're frozen, utilities are frozen, the mining companies are frozen, so they're not gonna buy us until they feel things are turning around in that industry itself. You know, that's a really interesting explanation of the state of what's going on. Uh, people must not realize, they know Fukushima and yeah. it's always a negative impact on the Absolutely. discussion. Yeah. But I think the fact that Fukushima is coming back online really changes the plateau of uh, where the industry is headed. Well, you know, Rick Rule always says you're a contrarian or you're a victim. So you buy stocks, sometimes you're a bit too early, but it's better to buy them too early than too late. So Japan has indicated now that we saw the steps. You know, they changed the, the regulatory bodies to reflect what the people have voted for. They're the ones that make the approvals. So these things are going to happen, but unfortunately, people want to see all their lights turned on. But to me, having the first reactor will make a huge difference in the sentiment of the industry. And so we're very excited. You know, we've got a world-class project, lots of cash, and the best technical team on earth to develop it and take it further. Okay, so what stage are you at, and how soon will you be able to deliver? Well, we've got um, about 160 holes into the project. We'll do our 40, 40, 43101 this fall. You need about 200 holes when you're in the Athabasca because it's a very like a high grade. You've got to make sure enough information they can do it right, the 43101. So this fall, we'll have 43101. We'll continue to drill. We've got all the majors on the project already, whether it's the Chemicals, Arivas, and Denisons. They've all been to the project. So the question is, is I believe the sentiment in the industry will change. These mining companies are going to look for what I call a low fruit. Low fruit is where it's high grade, open pitable in the right jurisdiction. And that's exactly what Fission has. What's your background for our audience? <laughs> I, um, I'm a contrarian. I started in 1996. This company is an 18 year overnight success. Um, Rick Rule, I remember going down to him and uh, staying at Super 8 motels and learning about uranium at, you know, from the master. And, uh, you know, I got into it because whether I'm born, I am come from India at a young age or I'm a minority, I'm a contrarian. And he said to me, 
Uranium is coming back, and I believed him. And guys like Doug Casey, Bob Bishop, all the really smart guys said, stick with it. You don't have to be the smartest guy in the room, but you better know who is. And I figured out pretty early that Rick was. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. I mean, look, it stands to reason that if you're in certain uh, countries and in certain cities and you can't breathe, uh, something's got to give. Yeah. R like Rick Office says, if the average cost of producing in a mine in the world is about $75 and the spot price is 28 long-term is 45 only two things can happen. you got to turn off 80% of the lights in a uh, place like France, 20% of all the lights into the uh, United States. And, and I even people like in... If, in Japan, they're seeing that their cost of food has gone up 10% the first four months. Why? Energy is up 400%. The average cost of LNG in Japan is four times what we, you and I pay. How can you compete to be an export-dominated economy and think you're going to compete without having such, with having such high prices? So to me, Japan has to come back online. But unfortunately, there's a reason we have cycles. Cycles give us opportunities to make money. Cycles happen because of psychology of fear and greed. And we have an opportunity right now, I believe, in this sector for people who buy uranium stocks right now, the chemicals, the dentists, and the fissions, they'll have great returns because they're buying in quality companies, the good management, well, strong treasuries in a sector that's out of love. When that love turns, it turns. So, Deb, I'll ask you the question, why are you at Sprott? Well, there's a lot of smart people here, um, and I'm a big fan of Eric Sprott, and I'm a big fan of Peter Groskopf and Rick Rule. I think they're very, very smart people, a lot smarter than me. And so when they're organizing something, I want to be there. And uh, plus, uh, Rick was a big supporter of mine when nobody was. It's easy to jump on wagons when things are going well, but Rick has been there when nobody else is. So I'm a big fan of uh, what he's done. And so... Um, when this sort of thing happens, is, and as you can walk around, a lot of smart people, a lot of smart investors, the quality of questions you get here are 10 times what you get at most conferences. You know, I, I've noticed the high quality attendee at this conference. Uh, I, I happen to agree with you. But for the most important question, what is your website? Uh, FissionUranium.com. And on there, you'll find videos of how to get to the project, what it's like in the summer and the winter. It can be 50 below, and there are times where it's quite warm, but the mosquitoes might carry you away. That big, huh? <laughs> Size of birds, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Dev Rondhawa, Fission Uranium Corp., publicly traded company. I'm going to give you a couple of symbols. FCU on the TSX Venture and FCUUF on the OTC Markets. I'm Shelley Kraft. This is SNN Live. We're at the Sprott Natural Resource Symposium, Vancouver, 2014. Dev, what a pleasure to see you. Thank you for having us. You got it.